The Crust is a fantastic game about mining resources on and under the moon surface, using them to expand your factory, send them back to Earth, and eventually building a giant moon laser to save the day. But in the story mode, the green social science can be a little difficult to get to start with. So let me explain the four main ways of getting green science. The first way opens up once you've progressed naturally through the story and have unlocked the science rover. This little buddy, a heavily modified Horizon 6 apparently, can go from 0 to 400 science in a flash. Just having it on the surface of the moon grants blue fundamental and orange engineering science passively, but green, you have to work for. Once you've finished the first mission, showing you how rovering on the moon works, look to the south and a bit east of your base, and you'll see a yellow question mark with the name Paid or Private Lab. Send them over there and you'll be presented with options to pay for science. Simply select the science you want, social for instance. The first three options are all the same cost to science point wise. The fourth one is more expensive, but gives you a large income of science quickly. Nice to finishing up something or catching up when it's a single type of lagging behind the other sciences. The second and third way open up in different orders, depending on what story choices you make. But let's first go over colonists. Once you've built a room and have completed the story chain to get colonists to your base, you can build a science building of your choice and have them work to give you science. During the story chain, you'll be asked to build a fundamental lab, but once that story piece is over, you can delete the lab and build a social one instead. Seeing as the rover gives passive fundamental engineering science, having a social lab kind of makes sense. There's a button on the main screen that allows you to assign what colonists do what job. Check them over and set what they're allowed to do. The more points they have in the job field, the faster they work. So it makes sense to have your researchers only doing research. The third way is the contract system. Completing another story chain for Ledger will open up contracts. In here, you can find ones that not only award money, but also science. Selecting the contract will show you how long the science being granted will last. Be careful here. Some contracts seem like they have a nice amount, but only last a very short time. And I'm talking to you, ex space man. Fourth option comes later in the cross story after you've built the repeater. You'll be given a mission to contact some labs to the southwest. Once complete, each lab has a goods requirement that you can create an expedition for, and you'll be rewarded with science for a set time. Only one lab can be active at a time, so choose wisely, and repeating the same lab makes the expedition requirements go up quite quickly, so spreading them out is a pretty good option. Another option available is you can buy science directly from Crust Solutions. In the Commerce Center under Crust Solutions, uh, they will sell you vehicles, they will send you science points, and apparently technologies soon. The prices here are actually cheaper than the paid lab, so it would definitely be worth coming here to have a check on them. I'm not exactly sure when this option is available to you or whether it's hidden behind a story chain, but if it's open, it would definitely worth taking a look at. And that's the ways to get the green social science in the cross story mode. I hope this was helpful. If there's anything else in the cross that you'd like me to cover, let me know in the comments below and I'll see what I can do. So thank you for watching and as always, have fun.